Hey everybody, thanks for pressing play. I had a customer that just asked me on YouTube a little bit more information about the one liter petrol. Unfortunately, I never asked the customer exactly what they wanted. So in this video, I'm just gonna run through some of the general information about this one liter uh, petrol turbo engine. If you're the person that actually asked and if there's something I've missed, then let me know in the comment section below. Or if there's any questions about um, specs on any of the Honda range or even the Hyundai range as well, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and cover it for you. So this engine came to us in 2017. So it is a one liter turbo engine. It's three cylinders and it has a VTEC setup. When it was launched initially, it was 127 horsepower. And then about two years later, approximately 2019, there was a small modification made to the engine to stay in line with European emissions regulations. And the power went from 127 to 124. But in my own opinion, it really felt absolutely no difference to drive. So I'm 100% happy. There's really no difference in performance. The engine of the car has a little over 180 newton meters of torque, which is quite good when you compare it to something like this 1.5 model, which was 180 horsepower, but the torque was 240 newton meters. So when you consider those numbers, it's actually 180 versus 240 newton meters, even though that car is 180 horsepower and that car is a little over 120 horsepower. So when you actually put your foot down, a lot of people are really surprised with these one liters. There's really good torque. Maximum power is produced at 5,500 RPM which on the one litre car, as you can see, is pretty much just shy of the actual red line of the car. If you drive the car all the way up to the end, it actually pretty much stops at a little over five and a half thousand RPM. Sometimes people ask what a car is like to drive. Uh, it's really, really hard to describe. You just kind of have to get in yourself. But because it's a three cylinder 12 valve, there's a really nice thump off it. Some of the four cylinder engines are much flatter in how they sound, but three cylinder engines like these, there's just a really nice kind of thumpy sound off them. And while the 1.0-litre engine should be really the more economy engine and the 1.5 should be the more performance engine, the 1.5 actually is a much quieter car when you rev it in terms of the engine sound, whereas the 1.0-litre actually makes some lovely thumpy sounds and you can also hear some nice sounds from the turbo. So a common question we get asked a lot of the time is in terms of power and acceleration, what these cars are like to drive. That car there is a, like we were saying, 124 horsepower version, and zero to 60 or zero to 100 kilometers an hour is about 10 seconds. Commonly, I'll be asked then how that compares to the 1.5. The 1.5 is approximately eight seconds. So there's about two seconds between them. But let me show you what it's like in terms of getting up to 100 kilometers per hour. In terms of reliability, anyone that's curious about the engine, it has been a reliable unit, but service history is really, really important. Any of the issues that we have seen on these cars, we've had one or two examples where literally almost no servicing has been done to the car and they have had oil starvation problems. But I think that's really reasonable. I mean, if you service the car properly, then you really shouldn't have any problems. And if you don't service the car at all, then that's just asking for trouble. In terms of maintenance on the vehicle, this engine then will require servicing approximately every eight to 10,000 kilometers. I have seen people get slightly longer intervals and the car makes its own judgment by judging oil quality. So in other words, you could have a slightly different service of interval this time or next time. It depends on your driving environment, your driving conditions and various other factors as well. So there will be slight changes. I've seen people manage to get 12 or 13,000 between services and I've seen some people get only seven or eight. Anyone that's doing longer driving with exhaust flow, they seem to do a little bit better. Whereas the people that are in small stop start driving, they tend to need oil changes more frequently. The engine then runs on a timing belt. My understanding of the reason it works on a timing belt, this is actually one we have in the workshop at the moment, is that some manufacturers use a chain. Uh, I believe we'll say, so the likes of Hyundai, Hyundai had a chain on their one liter. Um, and it is a noisier engine actually, I find when you start it, uh, but it drives really good, but it's just a characteristic of the engine. Now they've had a, an update on that and I think it's become a lot quieter. Um, I think one of the reasons that they went with a belt on this was because of the three cylinder engine, they're naturally a little bit unbalanced. Um, and I think it was more refined by using the material belt uh, than it was uh, using the mechanical chain. Now there's other mechanical reasons I'm sure as well, but I think that's one of the reasons they actually went with a belt on this one liter version. There is a serviceable interval because it is a material timing belt. So every six years or 120,000 kilometers that will need to be changed. In Ireland, we're estimating a possible cost of about seven to 800 euros. So anyway, hopefully that gives you some information that you may want on that. So that's P10A2 is the engine code. There is other one liter engines around the world, but this is the one that's been used in Europe. So P10A2. Um, if there's anything I've missed, let me know in the video. Uh, sorry, let me know in the comment section. Uh, or if you want any other information on other cars, like specs and stuff like that, I can always try and research them. I'm not mechanical, but uh, I'll try and find the information if needs be. So anyway, hopefully the video is useful and thanks a million for taking time to watch.